part two. A little bit of the outdoor workout that I'm doing today. Um, something, again, that I did a little bit when I was supposed to box. But uh, I took it from uh, Christian Villa or Vola. He is a uh, strength and conditioning coach over in England. And he was doing this with Ole Thompson, which was a former winner of Britain's Strongest Man, uh, UFC and Bellator veteran. I think he's fighting in Bellator against Czech Congo in a month or two. But uh, kind of took it from him. He used an agility ladder. I didn't feel like being hunched over with chalk drawing one out on my driveway. So it's going to be a little bit of a variation. But I took it from him and um, kind of put my little spin on it. You know, I should get an agility ladder, but I always think about getting one at the last minute. And I'll probably forget until the next time I do this, but here we go again. I was doing three sets. I took a long break in between because this is going to be pretty good for the endurance a little bit. All right. 30 pound kettlebell. Nothing special. What I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate arms with clean and press and snatch. So basically I'm going to start off with my right hand clean and press uh, five reps. And then uh, when I come back to this, it'll be with my left. Come back, and then I'll do right with the snatch. With the snatch, I'm going to do pretty much four times. I'm going to sprint all the way to the end there. Even though yes, it's little, but I just got it. And I really never used a Bulgarian bag before, so I really don't know what to expect. I kind of just fooled around with it just now, but uh, something easy. It's only ten pounds. Again, I don't feel like buying a huge one, and they are expensive, and I don't feel like buying a big one. What I'm going to do is, from the kettlebell to the Bulgarian, I'm going to sprint. And then from the Bulgarian back to the kettlebell, I'm going to do karaoke. I'm going to cross my legs over. Why? It was good for footwork. You see George St. Pierre doing that a lot back in the MMA day um, when he was fighting. So it's good for, like, you realize when I was telling you I suck at jumping rope, when I was back, when I was trying to become an MMA fighter, he's just going back 10 years ago. Um, the guy who taught me how to box, right, he told me, uh, he goes, do them. They're good for footwork as well, besides jumping rope. Um, you know, but jumping rope's the key one. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to sprint, but it's probably going to more look like a jog, but I'll give you an understanding. Um, something that I did, I like doing these once in a, once in a while when I'm, trying to get back in a little bit more better shape than I am now. I'm pretty much close to that 300 pound mark. But uh, we'll see after this. I don't know if I'm gonna do any tire flips or keg tosses or anything like that. I might just go inside and pump up the guns. Again, I got a party to go to. Um, and I'm also thinking about uh, entering the WAL coming to Jersey next month, maybe, I don't know yet. That's around the same time as uh, Jed Johnson's Winter Grip Fest, so I gotta, look, I gotta think about that one. But again, let me show you how it is. I'm probably gonna be dead ass tired afterwards. I'm gonna do this one more time after this, but I'm not gonna film it because I'll be dead ass tired. <laughs> All right.
damn.